Dr. Jordan Peterson, the Dr. Jordan Peterson, recently tweeted out a little teaser trailer for the documentary that we are working on called Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet. In today's video, I want to talk about that. I want to tell you what Dr. Jordan Peterson said about our teaser trailer for our documentary. And I'm going to share the actual teaser trailer with all of you. We're following real individuals over the course of a year that have decided to return to what is natural, a proper human diet, and they're overcoming just some incredible health issues, including my good buddy Bill in Alaska, who was 700 pounds, stuck in his house for four, almost five years, and he's out in the freedom of Alaska right now. He's down over 260 pounds. We just filmed him after one year, by the way. But I am so honored that Dr. Jordan Peterson tweeted out our trailer, and he said in his tweet, this is a necessary film, and it means the world to me because Dr. Peterson was a big piece of the puzzle that ultimately convinced me to start a carnivore diet or a proper human diet that has since changed my life forever. I learned about carnivore through Dante Ferrigno, and then I watched a bunch of Dr. Barry videos, and I went down the rabbit hole of research, and I saw Dr. Jordan Peterson on Joe Rogan. And one of the things, he said many things about carnivore, uh, but one of the things that Dr. Peterson said that really had me thinking was, he said, I stopped snoring the first... So this is what happened. I stopped snoring the first week. I thought, what the hell? I started waking up in the mornings. I'd never been able to wake up in the mornings my whole life. Then I lost seven pounds the first month. Then I lost seven pounds the next month. Then I lost seven pounds the next month. I lost seven pounds every month for seven months. It's like I'd throw away all my clothes. And my psoriasis disappeared. And I had floaters in my right eye, and they cleared up. And then the other one that probably ultimately sealed the deal for me was that... He said he's off all of his antidepressant medications. I'm better now probably than I've ever been in my life, and I haven't been taking antidepressants for a whole year. That was a huge one for me. I suffered horrible hopelessness from depression and anxiety for most of my adult life. It's the only reason uh, I wanted to do a carnivore diet was to get over the depression and anxiety. I had a whole bunch of weight to lose. I had all of these other issues and so much change. For those of you that don't know, I'll, I'll recap real quick. I'm down 100 pounds since my heaviest, um, but I overcame horrible lifelong battle with depression and anxiety. And I tried the standard of care. They put me on this medication, this SSRI, this antidepressant. I did that for 10 or 15 years. I have a whole bucket of medications, and I never got better until I returned to a proper human diet. That's why I'm so passionate about this. I have four girls. There's a lot of drama in the house, but I, this isn't me being dramatic when I say that I was hopeless. I was the definition of hopelessness. I was in such a dark place for so long. I didn't want to be alive anymore. And this has changed it for me. And there are over a billion people right now with depression, anxiety, mental health issues that are hopeless in this world and don't need to be. I'm not saying everyone has to do a carnivore diet, but what I'm advocating for is people returning to what is natural. And for me, the most natural thing I can eat, given the 60,000 options in the grocery store, is meat beef, butter, bacon, eggs. I'm so thankful, grateful, blessed that Dr. Jordan Peterson shouted out our trailer on Twitter. He has a large Twitter following because, like I said, I don't know if I would have been convinced to do it without him. One of the things that convinced me was, this is Jordan Peterson. He's arguably one of the smartest men on the planet. If he's eating this way, I shouldn't just do it because Jordan Peterson's doing it, but he's a pretty smart guy. He's a professor. He knows his stuff. Uh, Maybe it's worth considering a little bit more. But then after that and doing more research, I found Dr. Sean Baker, an orthopedic surgeon, has been eating this way for a long time. Then I found Dr. Anthony Chafee, a neurosurgeon who's also done brain surgery. He's eating this way. I found Dr. Philip Ovedia, a heart surgeon who's performed thousands of surgeries, wrote a book called Stay Off My Operating Room Table, and guess what? He eats this way too. Full bore into carnivore, as uh, most people watching this probably know, largely how I maintain my life, and that's how you maintain your life, and we've seen great results from it. I know I'm not saying people should just blindly go and change their diet forever because some smart individuals like brain surgeons and heart surgeons and Dr. Jordan Peterson eat this way, but I would suggest that it's worth further investigation, and that's what I ended up doing. The Peterson family, that entire family, has helped inspire so much healing, whether they know it or not, or whether they intended to or not. I have had over 100,000 comments on my carnivore-related YouTube videos over the course of the last year, and so many of them said, 
I saw Dr. Jordan Peterson on Joe Rogan, and that took that led him down the path of maybe doing more research, maybe going to Dr. Barry, Dr. Baker, and learning more. Michaela Peterson, my goodness. I found Michaela's story that day somehow. I don't even know how. Um, Michaela Peterson. Um, well, if it changed her life that dramatically, I'm going to give it a try. And the, the anger that I felt when I started healing and realizing the lies. I owe her so much as well because... Getting out of bed, my wrist buckled. I thought, I have to do something because I'm worried I'm going to drop my baby. The arthritis was back. I was itchy everywhere. And I was like, how is this possible? If I'd experienced remission, why isn't that diet working anymore? And I cut everything out except for beef. And two weeks after doing that, thinking, I'm nuts. Hopefully, I don't get vitamin deficiencies. The itch went away and my joints started to feel better. Four weeks after that, I stopped crying in the morning. And five months after that, the anxiety lifted and I was back in what I felt was heaven compared to how I'd been living. All beef, all lamb salt and water. My mom went on the diet and her osteoarthritis went away. My dad went on the diet and he lost 70 pounds, kid psoriasis, that went away. I've talked to thousands of people with autoimmune disorders who've done similar things and seen similar results. Eight days into my carnivore journey, my daughter Lily, who's 19, who suffered uh, heart surgery, open heart surgery at age 13. She had two blood clots that nearly killed her a couple of years later. She had this horrible skin condition and Michaela reminded me of Lily. All of the suffering my daughter Lily went through was similar to what Michaela described. I've been talking about this diet to spread awareness in hopes that the medical community can take something like this seriously. So when I was on day eight of carnivore, I told my 18 year old daughter Lily, I'm like, we tried everything. We took you to all these dermatologists, pills, injections, nothing worked and the poor kid's still suffering. Maybe it's just your diet, Lily. Maybe you're like Michaela Peterson and maybe it's just your diet, Lily. And she said, I'll try it. She was so desperate. Eight days into doing carnivore for my daughter, Lily, half of her back had cleared up of HS. This was a horrible, painful condition. When she had open heart surgery, they called off the surgery two hours into it. They called me and my wife and they said, we gotta stop the surgery. We're like, oh my goodness, what happened? Her HS, this horrible, it looks like acne, the skin condition was so bad they couldn't cut into her chest. They said she had to go home and heal it first. Long story short, she survived the open heart surgery and that went well eventually when she did have the surgery, but she suffered for five years. She came to me and her mom one time and said, I just wanna die, this hurts so bad. None of these dermatologies, we took her to the best specialist we could find. We were so desperate. None of them helped her at all whatsoever. None of them ever mentioned diet. Eight days on carnivore diet, half her back cleared up. 30 days, 30 days, 30 days on carnivore diet, all of her HS after five years of pain and suffering and thousands of dollars in doctor visits was completely gone. I owe that in large part to Michaela and her being brave and sharing her testimony with the world. I told Lily about Michaela. I said, go watch these videos because Lily could relate to Michaela's story. I saw Dr. Jordan Peterson on Joe Rogan. Subsequently, after I started on my carnivore journey, I've been consuming a ton of carnivore content. And many, many months ago, I came across Tammy Peterson and her podcast. And she did this video. I'll show it on the screen. And it was about carnivore diet. And I kind of fell in love with her. Just her demeanor, her, her honesty. Her I was always in discomfort from the time I was... My first memories are of a stomachache and not being able to digest my food. And so I knew it was food, and, tell, I and I told the doctors. Doctor? Yeah. I went to sick kids and I said, you know what, if Michaela eats oranges, her toe swells. And they were like, oh yeah, and they kind of wrote it down, but they were not interested. So, you know, Jordan and I, you guys we're at home and we whisper, good. we whisper to each other, you know what, I think we're getting younger. That's what I was getting out of listening to her, you get the truth. And Interestingly, while we were down in Austin filming, Dr. Chafee, Dr. Kiltz, Dr. Philip Ovedia was down there as well. Uh, we were filming all of these folks. I got an email and Tammy Peterson invited me to be on her podcast. And after that, I shared the teaser trailer with her and I, I said, please, Tammy Peterson, I really think your incredible story. Tammy Peterson was diagnosed with cancer and was told she was terminal. Talk about hopelessness. That is my goal in life, my purpose in life. I don't know what would be more hopeless than what Tammy Peterson went through, being diagnosed with stage four terminal rare cancer. Long story short, I'm rambling now. I'm excited, I'm thankful, I'm grateful, blessed. Tammy Peterson agreed to be in our documentary. We're gonna be filming her. Uh, but she also just said in, the, in one of these emails after I sent her this little teaser, I said, I just wanted to share this with you so you can see what we're working on. She said, oh, by the way, Jordan's gonna tweet out your trailer. And he did. And here's a screenshot of it. And he said, this is a necessary film. He had a funny comment about Rancher Maggie, who's 
83. I talk to Maggie all the time. She's 83. She's become a good friend. She's been eating a proper human diet, pretty much carnivore, for 65 years. The woman's jumping over fences, climbing up on farm equipment. I could not keep up with her when we filmed her. She's going to be in our documentary as well. So without further ado, I will share the teaser trailer that I'm talking about because a lot of you haven't seen it yet. This is the teaser trailer that Jordan Peterson tweeted out. You know, I've been a doctor for nearly 30 years now. We've all been misled for so long. I mean, they gave me pills for anxiety, they gave me pills for depression. Our bodies are so deficient and so malnourished that of course you're going to get diseases, of course you're going to get sick. I believe that I may have caused my cancer. It is no way to live. It, it's been, a, it's a nightmare. I was just so hopeless for so many years. It just kills me to know that the answer was out there the whole time. You know, just because you put something in your mouth and chew it doesn't make it food. Food is species specific. We can sit back and we can say the bloody doctors, it's all, it's not their fault. They were trained and they're doing what they were trained to do. The thing that really pisses me off is that the people that we should have been able to trust, the literal organizations that we look up to to protect us are the people who have done the majority of the misleading. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, man. That's awesome. I'm 82 years old, which is just a chronological number. So you put the right fuel in the engine and the engine works. I have now transitioned from a, a disease manager to a disease healer. I've transition from a drug dealer to a killer. Three weeks ago, I didn't know this man, Bill, from Alaska. Bill is 700 pounds and he's been stuck in his house for four years. <sighs> you nervous? I'm nervous, scary. You know, I live in Alaska, the most incredible place on the planet. I can't, I had to have a toilet put, you know, a few feet from my bed which I can barely walk to as is. I have not been outside in over four years. This, this is life or death for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Gary. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Here. Man. Thanks, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now, for the first time in a long, long time, I'm looking towards the future, which I have not, I have not had in such a long, long time. It's just the most incredible feeling. And if you want to learn more about our documentary, please visit donate.healinghumanity.movie. That's one thing I'm very proud about. This entire documentary, we filmed over 30 individuals and counting, entirely crowdfunded. There's no bias. I just want to share the truth. I don't want to make a penny off it. I'm not taking a salary. I've donated thousands of dollars of my own money to this, but we're not sponsored by Beyond Meat or Kellogg's or some processed food company or some pharmaceutical, like unfortunately and sadly, many of the documentaries that you watch nowadays are. They're biased and they're pushing a narrative. I'm not doing that. Good or bad, I will share good or bad. I will share the truth with you. I just want people to see this truth and see the amazing healing when you return to natural. Who could disagree with that? 